Hi, this is Atif Akbar. Today we will see the practical use of moving average in trading charts. For this purpose, we will use the crossovers and also see the golden crosses and death crosses. In previous video, we saw the description of moving average and we studied that it is a lagging indicator. Therefore, taking warning in advance or trend reversal confirmation in advance is a bit difficult using moving averages. We also saw the car's average speed example for better understanding. And we tried to have an idea whether the car will take exit or not based on the average speed of car. And we saw that if the average speed of car will be reduced before the exit, then we can understand that car will take exit. And if average speed of car is increased before the exit, then we can understand that car won't take exit. We also observed that same as like car's example, sometimes we use the moving averages to determine of upcoming uptrend or downtrend with the help of external factors like good or bad news. If the news is positive and moving average is also moving up, then we can take it as a confirmation signal for uptrend. But if the news is negative and moving average is also moving down, then it can be a downtrend signal. We also saw that if the price action crosses up the moving average, then traders take it as an uptrend confirmation signal and place their buying orders. And if the price action crosses down the moving average, then traders take it as a downtrend confirmation signal and place their sell orders. Once the price line crosses up the moving average, then moving average works as a support. And if the price action crosses down the moving average, then the moving average works as resistance. My friends, the time period of the moving average is very important. The short time period moving average generates faster signal, but the shorter time period moving average you will use, the chances of false signal will be increased. On the other hand, the long time period moving average generates slow signals, but they're more reliable. So the best way to use the moving average in your trades to use their crossovers. For crossovers, we use the short-term moving average with a long-term moving average. So when the short-term moving average crosses up the long-term moving average, then it is called a golden cross, which is a confirmation signal for uptrend and good opportunity to buy. But if the short-term moving average crosses down the long-term moving average, then it is called a death cross, which is a confirmation signal for downtrend and good opportunity to sell. Now we are gonna see on live charts how we can use these crossovers and believe me guys you will love this method this is really a magic generates huge profits this is my portal moon 333 moon triple three on trading view and uh, you can also follow me here on trading view i have also given the link in the description you can find there now we are gonna see some random chart for example euro usd the most famous chart in Forex. This is the live chart of uh, Euro USD. Now I will place two moving averages. One will be a short term, another one will be a long term moving averages. Moving average. One, two. Now I'm gonna change the time period of the moving average. For that, I will go to the settings. And for a shorter time period, I will select 50. And this is the source option. You can see this source option is closed. As in my previous video, I told you that the moving average shows as the average closing price of the candlesticks but if we want to see open high or low or any other then we can change it accordingly the close is the best this moving average is very thin so for better visibility i'm making it a bit thicker for that i'm going to settings and style and I'm changing the color to blue. This is the blue color. And the long term moving average is 200. And the close should be selected. And I am changing the color to red and making it a bit thicker for better visibility.
Now, this is the long-term moving average, the 200, and this is the short-term moving average, the 50. First, we will find the golden cross. This is the live chart, and I'm going to find the golden cross. And here is the golden cross. This is. The short time period moving average has crossed up the long time period moving average. This is the golden cross. So if we would have bought here, you can see how much profit we could gain. I am placing this measurement tool. So the profit would be around 6.63%. Wow. Now let's find the death cross. This is an uptrend. And now the moving average is going down and the short time moving average has crossed down the long time moving average. And this is the death cross. This one. Now I am again placing the measurement tool for profit calculation and you can see if we would have sold it here, here, then the profit would be around 7.29%. Guys, before entering the market, I would suggest you to see charts, train your eyes, and apply this crossover method on different charts, and try to use this method with different indicators for better confirmation. Please make sure that you have subscribed to my channel for more videos. See you soon in next videos inshallah. Till then, goodbye.